players have always attempted forbidden rituals in fear to summon scary entities, generate impossible seeds, and even to exploit game mode 666. But with so much clickbait on the internet, do any of these actually work? Warning, this video will give you nightmares. Up first, Twisted Head. With this player claiming that if you perform this specific ritual, you will summon a terrifying entity with scary eyes, a broken smile, and of course, a twisted head. Now, usually I see a video like this and think, this is fake clickbait but if you look at the comments there are hundreds of people saying that this works for them as well that they saw this entity and that it is real i mean look this post even has 621 upvotes with people agreeing with this original poster but what is this guy even doing there's a ton of black terracotta around the sides i can see and red candles lecterns in the center and then he's writing these books with blurb blurb what does that even mean? It's like another language. I don't understand. It's English and yet it doesn't seem to be it. The, the candles, they just turned off. What? Guys, why is the screen flipping? What is happening? What the? Huh? Wait, what's that in the chat? I can't read it. It's just like random text. Yo, 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 yo. There, 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 there. Pause. It was there for a second. Wait, rewind, rewind, rewind. Did you see that? Hold up. Any moment now. And he dies. There, 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 there. Do you see that? It's so hard to see. The chat is blocking it. I don't know what's in the chat, but look at that. It's like... Is that like a, an open spine and blood? That's what Twisted Head looks like. So could this myth actually be real? I mean, this is video evidence and tons of people agreeing with, but my natural instinct says this is fake. Like, surely you just use some sort of editing software to make the screen flip upside down like that? I don't know, but why would everyone agree with and to ensure that our tests are 100% legit, I've created a brand new world in survival mode with cheats turned off. You can see their commands do not work, which means we are going to have to pay a visit to the ugly long noses. So I began looting all the items to build this ritual. So it Ended up taking about three hours more than I expected because my luck in the mines was really bad and we needed a lot of stuff. But now that we've sorted each and every item, night is falling upon us. It's time to begin building the ritual. And if I remember correctly, there were four lecterns in the center surrounded by black terracotta on all sides. All right, so there were these nether wart, red nether wart blocks on the outside, and then on top of each of these, there was a single candle. At least I'm pretty certain. I think the candles were lit before the books were put in. So let's just light all of those. Yeah, this definitely looks like a ritual that would summon something. And then there were four books in the center. All right, here goes nothing. One, two, three, four. Guys, nothing is happening. Did I miss something? Is there something out there? Pause the video and just rewind over this. Check for me if there's anything in the distance that I'm missing. I, I don't understand. I did exactly what the video did unless maybe I didn't. Maybe I did something in the wrong order. Maybe I missed something. I returned to the Reddit to see if anyone could help me and I began to notice a trend. Why would you anger it? Keyword anger. Look again, it appears more than once. Why are you angering the creature? What does that mean? Don't make the creature angry, bro. So perhaps in order to summon this, I have to make it angry somehow, but how? Comments don't say. What if we literally burn down the ritual side? <laughs> Surely this would anger any entity seeing that the thing that was designed for him is being burned up. Nothing. Nothing. Ah! Clearly this was fake after all, unless... Wait, do you guys remember? Hold up, hold up. There was something I forgot. He didn't just put empty books in. No, 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 no. He had, like, stuff written in them. Perhaps that's how you can communicate with this entity. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? 
What do we say? Uh, maybe, are you even real? I mean, surely that would anger an entity, right? Like, you wouldn't want your reality question. Oh, let's tell him to die. <laughs> that, that would work too. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Anything that would make something like this twisted head mad. Oh, I know. Show yourself, coward. <laughs> oh, there is no way that this does not get his attention. You're fake. Anything? Wait, what was that? Wait. Oh. Nothing. I swear I heard or saw something, but... Ah, no shot. An evil entity can actually read what I've typed in the book. That's not real. I mean, I'm clearly just beginning to make up things, right? Unless, I mean, I've, I missed the books. I missed writing the stuff. So perhaps I missed something else from the video. Let's rewatch it. Uh, wait, that message. I thought it was gibberish, but what if it's not? Hold up, I'm taking a screenshot of that right now. Open up Photoshop. No way. If what I think is real, this is going to be mind blowing. Edit, paste, then we'll transform it, turn it around. No way. It's not gibberish. It's not a made-up language. That is English. Twisted head. Where's my offering? What does that mean? Is that a lead? Is that a clue? I think I know. I mean, most rituals, at least in real life, require a sacrifice. And similarly, to summon this creature, I probably need a sacrifice. A head. I mean, that's... People usually, like, sacrificed heads. But... Getting a head in survival is not easy. And I can't even use commands because cheats are disabled. I began researching mob heads on the Minecraft wiki until I found this. Yes, this is perfect. I already have a lightning rod. All I need now is to find a creeper over there. Perfect. Guys, if you don't know what I'm about to do, prepare to have your mind blown. Oh, okay, we've got to be so careful about this. Chuck down the cover, run, run! Okay, we now have a charged creeper. Now we need to bring it to a zombie to release the zombie head. Do we see one? Do we see one? One over there. Oh, we got to be so careful. Come here, boy. Come here. No, no. Skeleton, we have one shot of this. One shot and one shot only. It's the lightest thing wrong. Our creeper will blow up without killing the zombie or the zombie will die and not drop the precious item that we are looking for. Okay, there's the creeper. There's the creeper. There's our zombie. All right, get them a little bit closer. Get them a little bit closer. All right, stand there. Blow! Oh! I think we did it. Did we? Did we? Yes, we did. The zombie head. <laughs> now that we have one, it's time to make a sacrifice. I hope the offering is pleasing to this entity. Three, two, one. Nothing? Nothing again? Are you serious? Nothing again? This has to be fake. I dropped a suffering item thing. I tried to burn the thing to a crisp. I even wrote the messages in the book. Those aren't my messages. Those are not my messages. Wait, 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 wait. In the night's dark shroud. What does the word shroud mean? I don't know. I ain't a literary genius. Whispers dread? Whispers dread what? Creature lurks? Longing to twist your head. Go. Twist your head? That is definitely not what I had written. The creature's trying to communicate with me. No, 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 no. What if he's communicating with us? Wow, the candles! The candles just went out. That's, the, 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 that's exactly what happened in the video. No, 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 no. What do we do? What do we do? Ah! Why does the twisted head have an upside down smile. Why does he even exist? And what is his true goal? Watch until the end of the video to find out. In the meantime, this is game mode 666. A banned mode some say is created to play evil games and mind tricks on you to turn you over to the dark side. So far, most people believe there are only four game modes. Survival, Creative, Adventure, and Spectator. But what if there was a fifth one? A game mode is so terrifying that when a Mojang employee came up with the idea, no one ever heard from him again. So I'm using the seed as 6.6.6 .6 .6 with cheats turned off. 
However, I'm sure you know that you can't just get to this game mode through the normal menu selection. And that's because game modes affect you, the player. Like survival, you can take damage. But in creative, you can't. However, this game mode, it affects everything around you. So we're going to have to do it in game. And according to this X post, we need to use the goat horn at the exact coordinate locations 66.6, 66.6, 66.6. But why a goat horn? And why this exact sound? Let's find out. I quickly gathered some resources and traveled to the devil's coordinates. And all I have to do is play a seek goat horn? Simple, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, well, the coordinates should be around here somewhere. Okay, we're at 66x value, but at 56z. So if we move forward, the number goes up. But our y value, our height is 75. So we need to dig down nine blocks in order to get to 66. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and let's check the coordinates. 66, 66, 66. All right, here goes nothing in three, two, one. Something happened? Maybe something happened on the surface. Okay, wait, let's quickly dig up here, guys, and check what happened. Wait. What? Oh, nothing? Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. We went to those coordinates. Unless maybe they aren't the right... Oh, wait! It's 66 dot 66. I need to be more accurate. All right, there we go. So now we've got 60 dot 6 uh, X value, 66 dot 6 Z value. But how do I get... The Y value. How do I get to 0 0.6 of a block? I mean, I could place a slab down, but that gets me to 66.5. A slab is only half a block. How do I get exactly 0 0.6 blocks above the ground? That's impossible, right? I began collecting and testing every Minecraft block that would allow me to stand 66.6 .6 blocks high. I might have a solution. You see, snow is one eighth of a block. Now, I'm not very good at math, so we've got the calculator over here and one divided by eight. One eighth is exactly 0 0.125. Now, we're just trying to get 66.6, .6, right? So it doesn't really matter about the two five bit. We just need the 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 plus a slab and a slab is half a block. So that makes it 0 0.5. Oh my gosh, the math, guys. If we combine a slab with snow, we should get 0 0.6. Wait, what? Guys, look at this. I'm clicking, and it's not placing. I don't understand. Can you not place snow on slabs? I can place snow down, and then can I place a slab on top of it? Is that 0 0.6? No, wait, that says 66.5 still on the Y value. Why is that? Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Maybe if we get six bits of snow. So if we take one bit of snow, which is 0 0.125, and we multiply that by six, that gives us 0 0.75. So even if I place six bits of snow here and open it up, that's 66.75. Dang it. This is actually impossible. How do I get down exactly one tenth of a block? This was impossible. Or at least I thought so until I found this software. Introducing NBT Explorer, which we've actually used on the channel before, and it's mostly used by developers for terrain generation and even to find glitches, except we're not going to be using it for that at all. And by opening the level.dat file of the world, we can access all of the various settings that you wouldn't normally be able to touch, including if we come to player here and then to position the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So we weren't able to get to 66.6 .6 in game, but we can force it to happen using this software. We set the X value to 66.6. .6. Then we can set the Y value to 66.6. .6. And finally, the Z value to 66.6. .6. And if I leave this application on in the background, it should constantly be forcing us into that location. Did it work? Wait, I, I, I can't move. Guys, when I try and move, the screen jitters like crazy. You're seeing that? Hold up, was I, was I float? I'm floating? Wait, check the coordinates. <laughs> yes, now all we need to do is play the goat horn. Uh, I'm gonna 
sky's normal. The ground's not. Everything is normal. I, mean, I still can't move. Are you kidding me? What? Why didn't it work? I, I don't get it. Whoa. Guys, the screen just flashed. It. Reloading all chunks. Why would the game reload itself? Unless something changed. Hold up. We need to check if there's a new game mode. But the only way we can do that is using commands. And this is a survival world. What? What? I can use commands? Hold up. Kill. What about give? Give at S. Uh, diamond. Uh, 65. How did I get cheats enabled if I didn't turn them on when I made the world? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Well, well, we're in the game mode option. Oh, oh no. Guys. It, it, it's real. Look. 666. Six, six. I don't know. Th this can't be. What happens if I use this game mode? Oh, sometimes I wish this wasn't my job. Here we go, and... Wait, I just, I just fell. What's that sound? It's coming from above. Oh my gosh! The sky is red! The sky! What happened to the sky? What in the holy moly bat? Are they following me? The bats are following me. What is going on? Is that a sign? What is the sign? Join me. What does that mean? Okay, why are the bats following me? Get away! I don't like... Why is the sky red? Are you all seeing that? Look at the mountain. Okay, I, 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 I don't know if I'm just seeing things. I don't think I'm seeing things, but I, I swear I see the numbers 666 six, six in that mountain. What are they doing here? What? Why are the bats following me? I don't understand. No, 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 no. Where did it go? There was 666 six, six in the hill right a second ago. I, I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't under. Wait, there's another sound. You've taken the right step. The right step where? That doesn't feel like the right step of anything. That feels like the very wrong step. It's back and it's on fire. It's on fire. Wait a minute. Why is the fire coming towards me? Hold up. Is this some sort of ritual? Am I? Sacrifice? Join me or else? Wait, 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 wait. It's coming towards me. Run, run. No, 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 no. It's coming after me. Come on, come on, come on. We can outrun this. We can outrun this. We can outrun this. No, we can't. No, we can't. Oh my gosh. It's how? 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 No, 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 no. This is the bats. This is the bats. I don't know what this is. We gotta go. Water, water, water. We gotta find water. Do I have a water bucket? I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. Quick, quick. I lived. And the fire's not spraying anymore. What? And if you thought that was terrifying, let me tell you about disc zero. Unlike discs one to 16, it doesn't exist in your normal world. But once created, it plays a sound so haunting it's stuck in your head forever till so you go insane. This Minecraft forum poster, Arctic, claims that you can connect every music disc together with jukeboxes to create this new disc, disc zero. Is that possible? I don't think so. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I mean, look at this picture, Redstone, it doesn't work like that, right? I mean, how would this even exist? I mean, I know there are catchy songs, but why would a scary one get stuck in your head? I guess if it did, I would see why that would make you go insane. But the only way to see if this is real or fake is to test it. So I've got 16 jukeboxes on the outside, and I'm going to place a music disc in every single one. You can see it is, in fact, activating that redstone. All right, we've got music playing from all of them. You can see the little music icons, and I mean, you can also hear the awful cacophony of bleh, sound. Ha! 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 Look at the center! Look at the center! Music icons came out of there for a split second. I saw it, but I didn't hear anything. It's impossible to hear anything over all of this. Bleh. Okay, maybe if we, like, reconnect the redstone, perhaps? Wait a minute. Hold up, let's just check. If there were musical notes, then there had to be a disc inside. That's the laws of Minecraft. Let's just get this out. If I right-click on it, when I click on the jukebox, nothing comes out. What if I destroy the jukebox? There wasn't even a disc inside the jukebox. How did little note block particles, I think they're called, come out of it? Okay, wait, let's just try and reconnect the redstone here. Nothing. Nothing. So it must have been like a, a, a glitch or something? I mean, nothing's coming out of it, so it... Wait, maybe you guys will be able to do it. Maybe put on some headphones, replay this segment, guys. Listen really carefully, turn the volume up to max, and see if you can hear a sound that isn't a Minecraft music disc. Because for now, I'm going to put it down as fake, unless you guys notice anything, in which case, let me know in the comments down below. Now back to the twisted head. Ah! 
The thing's chasing after me. What is that? That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Run, run, run. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, whoa, whoa. My screen's moving. Oh, no. No, I'm going towards him. I don't wait to go towards him. It's so hard to control. It's so hard to control it when my screen's like this. It's twisting over. Wait, what happened to my head? <laughs> the, the zombie head. Do I still have that? The offering? Um. Oh, my gosh. My head in the inventory. Uh, uh, he's right behind me. Okay. Uh, uh, drop it. There you go. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is he still chasing me? Okay, wait, he's he's distracted. I think he likes the head. Oh, he's coming back for me again. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Now we have to go back and get that head. Okay, it clearly has something to do with that if we can just figure it out. Okay, wait, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. We're going to juke it. We're going to juke it. All right, run here, run here. He's chasing me. Okay, and quickly hide behind this tree. All right, now, I don't think he knows. If he runs straight past us, we will be good to go and we can go back for the head. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Walk past me. Walk past me, please, please. Please. Yes! He didn't see us! Alright! Go, 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 go! Where is it? Where is it? There, 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 grab it! Here's my idea, guys. We gave it a head, but its name is Twisted Head. Oh, it found us again! What if, in order to, you know, give it the right offering, we need to give it, you know, a twisted head? I mean, it's worth a shot, right? We need to make a crafting table. Quick, uh, no, this- Why am I only have three bloods? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we got we got a crafting table. And then, quickly, jump back. And we need to make an item frame. An item frame. An item frame. Ah, we're going to twist this head real up. All right, put it there. Put it there. And then grab the zombie head and twist it. Twist it. Twist it. Ah! Oh, oh. Did we do it? We did. Wait, something's happening to him. Something's happening to him. Oh. Yes. I think we're safe. The twisted head's gone. The world seems to be back to normal. The ritual is still here. But I think it's okay. He's officially gone. Thank you to all of these guys for making today's video possible. You're my new favorite EY Mega fans. If you want a shout out, just click the join button below this video. Scroll down and click EY Mega Fan.